Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of College Hippo's uh, deep dive into the college's master's program. And today we're going to talk about the cybersecurity master's program offered by Harvard University. As you can see, this is an online slash hybrid master's program and we're just going to go into the details of what does exactly that means there. So today we're going to talk about uh, what the program's details is admission requirements, what is the learning outcomes, and what is the tuition. And also, even though it is an online master's program, you do qualify for financial aid. So just hang in there and let's take a deep dive there. All right, so Harvard University. Uh, Harvard doesn't need any introduction, but uh, it's one of the top ranked universities in the world, ranked second in the US after Princeton, but kind of they compete sometimes. Located near the beautiful city of Boston in a town known as Cambridge in Massachusetts. It's a private university with a graduation rate of 98% and acceptance rate of 3 to 4%, which is for undergraduate programs, not for the master's program. All right, so what is the online master's in cybersecurity from Harvard? So if you had been following uh, College Hippo, excuse me, and then you have been seeing, uh, we have been talking about Harvard's online master's uh, program offering. It is not always a 100% online program. And online master's in cybersecurity is not much different. It is a 12 course program, which requires 48 credits for completion. And it will take you at least two years to complete this program, or maybe more depending on your commitments to your job or any other thing which you've been pursuing. So uh, this is, uh, most of the time it is an online program. It only requires three weeks to be present in the college campus, which I don't think most of you will mind. At least I will not mind living in a Boston for three weeks, especially during the summer when it is a beautiful experience here. All right. So what are the required core and elective courses here? So introduction to cybersecurity, intrusion hacking detection, networks and cloud security, and then computing course, development course, compliance controls, risk assessment, and four cybersecurity electives. And yes, like most of the master's program, there is an option to choose which electives you want, depending on where do you want to specialize. There is a pre-capstone course. Mind it, this, this is a pre-capstone course for a three-week Harvard on-campus experience, followed by a capstone course and project. All right, so let's go into the details on what is a pre-capstone project and a capstone project. So uh, if you're looking at a capstone, if you're not aware of what the capstone project is, capstone project is a real world project that represents a final stage of your education there. And in this case, it is a real world experience. So on campus pre-capstone is gonna happen in the beautiful campus of Harvard in Cambridge in the synth of summer, where you'll be working with your team to kickstart your capstone project. And this is where this project, uh, this program makes a difference compared to other online programs because you're going to have an on uh, have a on campus visit for 3 weeks where you'll be meeting with your peers and with the faculty the capstone project will be the culmination of your degree and this will be in collaboration with your team and an industry partner and this will be a real world cybersecurity project and if you haven't been working on a cybersecurity side this is your first time i'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy this the program outcomes as uh, listed by Harvard and I have not done this program so I can't be telling you exactly if it is true or not but this is what it says knowledge and skills acquisitions understanding network infrastructure security risk mitigation and policy development I'm not going into the details what it is about but I can jump on to the next slide which is we you would like to know about the admission requirements so you must have got a four years bachelor's degree or something similar, GPA of three or higher, transcript resume, personal statements. But the part which I like most and you will also like is the GRE scores are not required. Isn't that a relief? Oof, no more GRE. All right, so how much does it cost? Surprisingly, this is a very affordable program compared to a traditional MBA or master's program at Harvard University where you would be working in the classrooms, this cost you less than $40,000. And this is, I think, one of the very affordable online programs offering by the Harvard, which makes it competitive with other universities out there. 
So the cost per course comes out to around $32, dollars there, give or take. All right. The good news is still there that even when you're doing online programs, you will be eligible for a financial aid. And as per Howard's, uh, what is written on the site, students admitted to the online master's degree are eligible for financial aid. Again, it depends on a lot of factors, but you are eligible. So they might require some extra documents from you, but you would be, and I think you will be required to submit at the time of admission there. But grants and scholarships with a tuition assistance plan would, I think, if you can chop a few thousand dollars from it, then it will make it very, very affordable there. So the question comes to you, most of the minds is, what is the degree offered? Well, this is what a degree is going to say. Master of Liberal Arts in Extension Studies, Field Cyber Security. And mind you, this is called as Extension Studies, not Master of Liberal Arts from Harvard there. Right? So it will be Harvard degree, but it will have an Extension Studies there. And this is the case with most of the online masters offered by Harvard. Hope that helps. All right, so leave us your feedback and uh, for the program details, visit collegehippo.com. Do like or subscribe to get more details on it. Thank you.